Hey everybody, this is Frilly Off and welcome back to another Minecraft episode on the Alpha Craft server. Today I'm going back to the fun zone, the Alpha Craft fun zone, because I've been working on another idea. I've been working on it now for a while and I think I've got it to a stage where, uh, where it's time to start building it, in fairness. It's another one of those things that I'm dead excited about. I've, I've really got back into my redstone uh, contraptions again recently. And uh, and this is a doozy, I think. Uh, I hope you like it, actually. Uh, you'll have to let me know in the comments, won't you? But before I do that, I want to pop over to Dreamers with a Skelly Farm. Now, if you've not seen this with a Skelly Farm, it is epic. And not just the farm. I mean, the farm, it, it's, uh, it's there's nothing special about the farm. It's a, it's a design that's been used before, but everything else around it is just, is just Dreamer. It's just incredible. So we'll have a wander over there now. I'm hopefully going to grab a few skulls out of it. Going to make a few beacons over by the fun zone. And then I'm going to start sticking some stuff down. And uh, maybe I'll explain what I'm doing. Okay, so we've made it down to the uh, the Skelly Farm, and already we've got we've got Skellies in there and Blaze. Now, now the idea is not to jump. These daylight sensors are at just the right height to be able to see. Oh, don't do that! Don't do that! To be able to see over the top. These guys can see me. These guys and any other guys can't unless I jump up and down. If I'm running down there, jumping up and down. I'm going to get shot at. Why has he gone up there? You would not believe it, would you? The last thing I need is a blaze up there. If one blaze sees me, they'll all get aggroed at me and they'll all start firing. Absolute pain. But what I'm going to do before we start this, I'm going to jump onto replay and I'm going to have a fly around and show you this from the outside because it is epic the amount of work that's gone into this i'm giving Draymer all the credit but i've got no doubt that she's had some help off a few people she must have done if, if she hasn't then Draymer, this is amazing and if i'm giving this if i'm giving you all the credit Draymer, and it's not you then i apologize to whoever's done this but i thought it was you Okay, so I've only been here a couple of minutes, literally less than five minutes, and I've already got myself three skulls, and those together with the skulls that I've already got are going to be more than enough. So I'm going to pop over back to spawn now. I'm going to get myself some iron out of the iron alpha, and then I'm going to pop up to the, uh, the, the main wither killer, which we've had to move, and I'll explain why we've had to move that when we get there, but we've had to move the main wither killer from the end uh, to uh, to spawn to just below the the bedrock, but I'll talk about that when I get there. Okay, so we've made it back to spawn with all the gear. I've got my 15 skulls. I've got my iron. But later, I've got my soul sand. There it is. So we're going to go and kill the wither with the killer just down here. Now I've had to, like I said, I've had to move it because uh, the wither killer for ages has been at the end. It's been underneath the end the gateway to get you back. Uh, the one at zero zero but recently and i think it's a 116 update when you set the wither up underneath the uh, end portal he he rises up a little bit you know you put him down but he rises up a little bit and it puts his head inside the portal so when he starts shooting his skulls 
all of the skulls go straight through the portal and start destroying spawn. And I've had this on a couple of my servers where he's made a he's made a right mess of spawn. Fortunately, we've not done it here yet, uh, and I've had to close down the the wither killer at uh, at the end. So fortunately, I found another area here at spawn that allows us to do it, and it's quite a specific area that you need in order to make a wither killer underneath the bedrock. You need a three by three area, otherwise the guy, uh, the, the skulls just destroy everything. And here we happen to have a three by three area. There you go. Stay, I've, I've dug out, in fairness, I've been very lucky. Uh, I've not had to dig out too much around here to find one on some servers. I've, I've spent ages trying to find one, but here, there it is, three by three. Don't worry about that guy there. There's a, a block above it, so he's fine. So. Uh, so this will work, so if I put my soul sand there and I do that and just back away a little bit See how he rises up there, he's gone up a little bit but now he'd be shooting his skulls through the portal and they'd be destroying his spawn. But he can't here, obviously, because there's no portal above him. So I'll just rattle through these, uh, these withers. It won't take me too long. And I'm sure you don't want to watch me beat the snot out of a defenseless wither. And I'll be back in a minute. That was really easy, wasn't it? Uh, if you do it right, it's really easy. If you do it wrong and you put the uh, the wither in the wrong place and you let him out, then phew, you're bang in trouble. But if you do it right, it is really, really simple. And we've got five stars out of it, so that's five beacons. So I'm off now to grab my redstone and I'm going to pop over to the fun zone and we'll start building the, the next attraction. So I've made my way over to the fun zone now and this place is really starting to fill up. We've got the free fall over there, we've got hot shots over there which you can't see yet. And there's a few other bits and pieces but we've got, got a few spoilers on here so I can't show you what's going on. But uh, it, hopefully it won't be long before we can start having some fun days out here. Uh, what I'm going to build today is another shooting game and it's a shooting game that was inspired really because with Hotshot, you may well have seen my video if you haven't, go and check it out at the end of this one. With Hotshot, you're, you're just firing at a static target and the idea is to hit the target as close to the center as you can and get the highest score. Because the target isn't moving, uh, if you shoot and get a good score, you can basically stay where you are, don't move, shoot again, you'll get roughly the same score. It Give or take, it, it varies, it's not bang on, but um, it's it's close enough for me to have had a rethink about archery games, uh, and, uh, and it's also a, more or less a single player game. You you shoot, you take your score. You can play against other people, but you only shoot individually. You, you're not shooting against somebody, if you know what I mean. This game pits you directly against your opponent. There are there are going to be two lanes. Uh, there are going to be targets that are moving, that, are, that, that, that appear and disappear, and you have to shoot at them, and you're shooting against an opponent. It's going to be, I'm gesticulating, that's why I'm not moving my arms on, on, the, uh, on the screen. I'm actually sat here gesticulating all over the place. But anyway, it's, uh, I love it, uh, and the feedback I've had about it so far has been absolutely fantastic. Uh, I've got it to a stage now where I'm happy with the redstone, I'm happy with the size of it, so it's about time I showed it to you guys. So I'm going to clear out, hello doggy, I'm going to clear out some of this area. I need to strip out a layer or two of dirt. I need to sleep, and then I'll start building it. Okay, so we've done a bit of clearing. I've got my beacons up as well, and they're, they're helping no end. Uh, so if I grab myself a couple of fence gates now to indicate where I want the two firing positions to go. So if we have one of them here, yeah, and then... The other one 
the other one there. So one, one player will stand here shooting that way. One player will stand there shooting at the other targets over there. Uh, and what they're shooting at is going to be in the middle. And that's what I'm going to start building now. I'll build this in stages. I don't want to do an entire 50 minute video of me just building this thing. So I'll build some of it, uh, the, the, the key elements to it. Uh, and then I'll, I'll show you them once I've done them. So we've got our first little bit of redstone in. Uh, we've got the pistons, we've got some redstone at the bottom, some hoppers and uh, uh, droppers. We've got the target blocks. Obviously, you need target blocks if you're going to be having a, an archery game. Uh, so the idea is that these pistons will drop down randomly, revealing the targets behind them. Sometimes uh, only one piston will drop down. You'll only see one target. Sometimes all five will drop down and you'll be able to see all five targets. Sometimes no pistons will drop down at all. So it is uh, a game of luck as well as a game of skill. Now, in order for those to drop down randomly, I've, uh, I've come up with a randomizer. I don't think this is this is new. This, I'm sure this has been done before. Uh, but I'm going to be putting different items in the droppers. And every time those droppers are powered, one of the items randomly is going to be shot out into that hopper. And that's going to give out a signal. And depending on what's in the hopper will determine how long the signal length is. If it's a stackable item in 64, then one item will just give off one bit of oh, stop it stop it one one redstone dust it won't be very long but if it's an item that won't stack i.e a wooden sword one of these it'll give out a signal strength of three now because of Mo Yang messing around with how redstone works, three will now light up those three bits of dust and it will also light up that bit of dust there on the face of that block and that's enough to unpower that piston, the unpower that redstone torch, which will unpower that piston, which will reveal the target. So if I stick in, I need to fill all of these slots uh, and I need to fill them all with stuff that won't stack with each other. So if I grab five different things, two, three, four, and I'll put a bit of fish in there for variety, five of those, if I then fill the other slots with swords, swords, um, which I can't pick up, fill the other slot with, with swords, every time now that a bit of redstone fires, it's going to fire a, a random item into there, as I say, and, and that will determine whether or not that goes down. And to fire these, I'm going to be using just a basic hopper circuit. So we're going to put some items in there. It's going to flow around. Uh, and every time, every time it gets to that hopper there, it will put out a signal through that comparator, which will get pulled down this line and it will fire those. But I also want it... Um, to leave this piston down a certain number of seconds, maybe a second or so, just to give the guy shooting time to be able to shoot the target. Otherwise, it's going to be ridiculously impossible. And to do that, I'm going to power using the same redstone line. I'm going to power that block there, which is going to block that. Uh, it's going to lock that hopper and stop the items from flowing back into the uh, into the dropper. So if I stick one item in here, I'll just demonstrate this. This is not how it's going to be, but I'll just show you this. You see, so randomly it's going to drop down. Sometimes it doesn't drop down. Sometimes it does drop down. But when it does drop down at the moment, you'll see that it is really, really quick. There is no way if you're stood over there that you're going to be able to shoot that if it's only down for that number of seconds. So I need to increase the length that that is down by. And that's reasonably simple to do. All I do is add more items to this hopper chain because an item will only throw through here one at a time. If I put more items in here, they will flow around and uh, let me just put more in and show you rather than trying to, trying to mess about doing it. Let me power this as well. We're gonna use this to we're going to use this to lock it when the game's not being used. So if we power that now, everything is going to get locked into that one, that one hopper there. One, two, three, four. 
Right, so four items now should give me long enough or should give the people long enough to be able to see the target. So if I start the game again, and when the sword gets shot into the, uh, the hopper, brilliant. So I think that's long enough. And, and again, if we want to make it more difficult, we can reduce the number of items in here, which will reduce the amount of time that these uh, that these targets are displayed. So let me stick in the uh, the stuff for these hoppers. So now we've got all five droppers at the back with stuff in them. You'll be able to see pretty much the the fundamentals of the game now. Uh, so you're stood over there ready to shoot. Targets appear. You've got to hit the target. And sometimes a couple might show up. You know, sometimes three might show up. Sometimes one might show up. Sometimes, and uh, and it, th th there's as much chance of none showing than there is of all five showing. And we're going to do that over there. Uh, and like I say, you're going to shoot against each other. And that's all done by, via this uh, this little randomizer we've got down here. These are going to uh, these are going to be attached now to a display that's going to show at the front, uh, which is going to be your score. So we'll have 20 blocks of them. It's probably 15, 15 blocks up there of uh, the redstone lamps, uh, and they'll all be lit up every time you hit a target. They'll start to run out. They'll start to go out. So I'll, I'll do that now. Okay, so we've got the next circuit in now. It's the, the circuit that is going to be activated when a an arrow hits the target. It's going to put a signal through this guy, which is going to go through this monostable circuit here, which is just a sticky piston with a block on top of it, a pulse shortener, really, into a repeater on two ticks. That's going to make that redstone torch flash, and that's going to make that redstone torch flash just long enough for uh, that to repeater to unpower. And when that repeater unpowers, it's going to unlock that comparator. So that comparator is then going to put a signal strength of one into this subtraction circuit. Now, you've seen the subtraction circuit before. I used it in the Iron Alpha. I used it in the Hot Shot game over there. Oh, my word. So every time that unpowers, uh, one is going to be taken off this signal here, which is currently well, it's currently at none. But when it's full power, it's going to be at 15. Uh, so every time you hit one of those blocks, it's going to take one off of whatever this uh, whatever the signal is here. So I could see something down there then. So if I power this up properly, this is going to be done via a redstone torch later and probably a button down the front. But I can do this here using a button. So if I power this up, this subtraction circuit now is a signal strength of 15, which means all 15 lights are lit up. If we then start the game by removing this torch here, that's going to happen. So the game is to hit the targets. And when you hit a target, one of your lights goes off. You might be thinking, this is really easy for us. Look at that, it's simple. It, it's not when you stood back there and you've got somebody next to you who's trying to, trying to beat you. But it means that you have to move. You have to move your... Oh, and you have to be ready for your next shot as well. You have to move. You can't just stand there and aim at one spot and get a decent score. You see, that time... None of them went down, which means now you're behind the geezer that's over there. And obviously the winner is the person whose lights all go out first. And we're going to have uh, we're going to have something happen over there. If you lose, maybe I'll get you dunked into lava. That'd be good, wouldn't it? I'm sure, Steena and Aletha would love that. But that's, uh, again, that's that's how this works. So let me turn this back off again. Oh, 
by putting that there. Again, that locks that circuit, which stops uh, stops the pistons from going up and down. Can reset the game. So this side is ready to go. So I've got a oh my ankles. I've got a few more bits to put in. Uh, I want to put in an indicator light above here that counts down. When you start the game, you're going to be stood here. Your opponent's going to be stood there. How do you know that you're both ready? You're just going to wave to each other? Of course you're not. You're going to press a button. So you'll press a button and it will light up five lights above the top of the, the barrels there to indicate that you're ready. Your opponent will then do the same. His five or her five lights will light up. They'll be ready and then there'll be a countdown. It'll count down five, four, three, two, one. All the lights will go out above the uh, above the barrels and then the game will start so uh, so it's fair so you don't just stand here and shout go because that's probably not very fair and we can do it using redstone and who doesn't like doing things with redstone so uh, let me stick a bit more down now um, and we'll have another look in a second okay we've got a little bit more in now i've got my redstone lamps in up there as i mentioned they're going to be the uh, the, the countdown timer that uh, that will start the game they're powered by these five repeaters, uh, which are all powered via the, another subtraction circuit. So we've got another subtraction circuit here. This is powered up to a, a, a power of six. And we're doing that using the, uh, the two swords in there. Each sword gives off a signal strength of three. So two swords gives off a signal strength of six, uh, which means that piece of dust there has got a signal strength of six. That's got one of five, four, three, two, one. So once the countdown timer starts to work and the countdown timer is powered via that little hopper chain there. So once both the contestants at the front have pressed their buttons, this hopper countdown, uh, this hopper clock gets unpowered, which puts a pulse through this comparator, through the monostable circuit, the sticky piston, which unpowers this torch here, which reduces this subtraction circuit by one and I'll, I'll turn it on and turn it off again so you can see uh, but once this is all once this is completely drained down and they've all they've all gone off then the mechanism down the bottom will start working and the pistons will start firing so if if i do that you see three two one that all the lights are off now and the mechanism is shut down. It's it's difficult to show you from up here, uh, but you'll just have to trust me. So that's the second. Is that the second? Oh, or the third circuit? One, two. That's the third, isn't it? Really? Maybe even the fourth. Anywho, uh, it's another it's another part of it done. So now what I need to do? Are you for real? <laughs> I don't think you are. <laughs> what I need to do now is put in a mechanism that stops the game, uh, that ends the game when all of the lights have gone out. So whoever turns their lights off first, that's got to end the game. And I can do that by taking a signal from, where is it, under here. Because that, jump, that, let me block up, instead of messing about. That block there, that repeater there, will go out when all of the lights are gone out. That that it, that uh, fires the bottom light. Uh, so as soon as that light goes out, that uh, by definition that repeater is going to go out. Which means if we put a block there and then put a bit of redstone dust on it, like that, that bit of redstone dust will go out when all the lights have gone out, and I can use that to turn off the, the mechanism here and I'll also use that in order to activate uh, the little forfeit at the front. Something's going to happen at the front when you lose so we'll, we'll use that signal to do that. Uh, so I'm going to stick all that in and then we'll have another look at it. I'm going for a Wild West theme. There was a game I used to play years ago called Boot Hill where it was, a, it was a really, really old game, actually. Two of you stood on one side of a, of a map uh, and you shot at each other. And the winner, well, the winner was the one that killed the other guy. It's, 
I'm, I'm going to call it boot hell just for the sake of it really so it's going to need some kind of westerny kind of feel to it so if I build it out of wood and barrels and that kind of stuff maybe it's going to look a little bit wild westy we'll find out won't we okay so we've added another couple of little bits of, uh, of circuitry in now we've got the circuit at the top there which uh, which will turn off that redstone torch when all five lights are lit so until all those five lights are out that redstone torch will be on so the game won't start unless all those five lights are on so uh, that's your ready switch so unless the, the two players at the end have pressed the buttons and all those lights are on then that uh, redstone torch there won't will stay on which will mean it will lock the circuit there and also as i've just mentioned when all of the lights go off that torch powers and it locks the circuit as well so the game stops when effectively you've won when all your lights have gone out so that's another two circuits i've just put in we're getting there now we've uh, we haven't got a lot more to do i need to stick in now the the button that goes at the front which will uh, which is your ready button so i'll stick that in i also need to put in a button that um uh, that, that, that generates the forfeit at the other end. That's going to come from under there. That's going to use this signal as well. So we're going to run a line of dust up to that end. And we're probably going to put some sticky pistons underneath the gate. So they open uh, and you fall down into something if you lose. So there's got to be a forfeit. There's no point playing the game unless there's a bit of a forfeit. And uh, I've had a bit of help uh, in designing the Infernus. It's been designed for me by, uh, by Bunny Bond. Who's put a bit of work into this for me? Um, she's come up with a fantastic idea, and I can't wait to show you what it is. Uh, but we'll do that in a second. Uh, and the rest of it, everything else above there, then is just titivating. So, anyway, I'll stick in some more redstone. I'm sure, you're not bored of it, uh, and we'll have a look in a second. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. So, I've put in the, the uh, reset line. That button there sends a signal down this redstone line here puts it into this torch tower which resets these lights at the front so it turns them all on using the 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 five swords that we saw in there earlier on it also puts a signal via this line here into here which turns off that torch which turns on that torch which puts a signal of 15 through this subtraction, I can't show you. Why can't I jump all of a sudden? Oh my word. OMG frills. Puts a signal through this subtraction circuit, which we spoke about earlier on, which lights up that tree there, lights up all of the lights, which are, which is your score. Uh, so every time you hit the target, your score goes down. Uh, so that's that. What else have I done? I've put in the line which is the forfeit line. So when all of these lights go out, they're your lights, say they're your lights, when all of your lights go out, it means you've won, it puts a signal through this line here, which goes via this uh, pulse extender, through to these uh, repeaters here and these sticky pistons, and it opens these sticky pistons. Uh, and you're going to fall down. If you're the loser on this side, if that side wins, you're the loser, you're going to fall down uh, and that will be your forfeit. And down there is where we're going to put something. I think it looks fantastic. Uh, but we'll have to do that uh, in a little while when I've done it, obviously. So now, I don't know. So the majority of this stuff is now in. As I mentioned before, the rest of it is just paraphernalia, really, around the outsides of it, making it all look all wild westy. So the redstone on the left-hand side. Uh, what, mate? What? What, do you want to fish or something? So the redstone on the left hand side is all done. I now need to do this exactly the same over on to other side, as they say. OK, so uh, I'll do that over there. Put the other forfeit line in, which will hook up to these uh, sticky pistons for this side. And then I need to dig out quite a big area underneath here uh, to put in some note blocks because we're going to have some tunes when somebody dies. It's going to be fantastic. I hope you like it. I love it. Uh, so I'm going to crack on and do that. 
Okay, so we've got the left hand side in now uh, and it's it's exactly the same as the other side with a very, very tiny difference in that the line that uh, the forfeit line that goes through here is powered off the side of that block, not off the front, otherwise it would interfere with this line. So it's uh, that's the only, only difference. Uh, so as I say, it's exa exactly the same. So if I press this button now, to signify that this side is ready all the lights come on they'll stay on because at the moment I'm the only person ready the, the guy on the other side isn't ready uh, and so then I'll stand in front of the gate my firing point uh, and I'll get ready oi mate are you ready yes dude so I'll press the button to ready myself on this side my score flashes up the lights come on they start to count down when the timer runs out the game starts and the idea is to shoot quicker or, and more accurately than your opponent. You can see my, my lights going down over there. And this is where it differs from the hot shot game in that you don't know which targets are going to show. So you've got to continually move. And also you're up against your buddy over the other side who's also shooting. And if you're not ready and you miss, then even more pressure gets put on you. And as I say, sometimes you'll only get the one target appear and they're different you see they're, they're both different on both sides uh, on either side so you don't get the same targets appear and it's never in the same order it is all generated randomly and sometimes you hit sometimes you miss Well, I've just won the game. Pistons come across. Guy falls down there. Brilliant. Job's done. Uh, so I need to purdy it up now and put in the put in the bit down the bottom, the bit that I'm most excited about. So I'm going to do that. Well, that took a little bit long. I always see this, don't I? That took a little bit longer than it should have done. But anyway, it did. It took a little bit longer than it should have done. But here it is. This is the new game at the fun zone uh, called Boot Hill. Loosely based on the game I used to play when I was about 10 with my little brother. Bless him. Uh, it's, it's not the same game at all, but there you go. Uh, but it's uh, with the Wild Westy theme, the bows and arrows. We've got a couple of, uh, of uh, wagons there. I'm going to put the instructions in there. And the bows and arrows go in those chests. Uh, th this is it. This is it. I need now to find... Steen is on line. I need to find somebody to play the game with. This is all of the redstone. But it's very small for what it does. And I say this a lot as well. For what it does, it's tiny. Very, very pleased with the way it's come out. I really am. It's fantastic. So I need to find somebody to play with. Brilliant. I've managed to find JJ and Wild, who were always on the server anyway, uh, but they've said they'll come and help me to start this new game. So uh, we'll get them over here. We'll get them playing it and uh, and hopefully we'll get their reaction. They've never seen it before. So we'll get an initial reaction as to what they think about the game. Hi, JJ. Hi, Wild. Hi, Afro. Thank, thank you for coming Woo! along to the grand opening of, uh, of Boot Hill. This is so exciting. You're my I test like subject, so thank you. Subjects. Yeah, thank you. Right, so grab yourself a bow and a stack of arrows from the chests, and then I will explain how the game okay. works. Ooh, does this mean I, I get to shoot, bow? JJ? Or... You can use your own bow if you like, I guess. Oh, I missed. <laughs> I missed. This is not All a right. shoot each other game, yeah, honestly, it's not. It's directly in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> right, have, you got, have you got your bows? Have you got your arrows? Yep. Okay. So the aim of the game, then, is to stand here and then shoot at you see the barrels at the at the uh, on the walls just uh -huh. underneath the barrels those logs will randomly drop down revealing a target <gasps> now Ooh. you might get you might get one target you might get two you might get five there might be turns where the target blocks don't get shown at all 
Oh, okay. So, so it's, a, it's a game of chance as well as a game of skill. Okay. Right. Now, to get ready, you press the player ready button and all of the lights above the fence gates will light up to indicate that you're ready on this side. Then, uh -huh. JJ, okay. you'll press the, the ready button. All of your lights will light up to indicate that you're ready. And then they'll start to okay. count down. And when they all go yeah. out, that's when the game starts. And that's when all of the, the targets start being shown. So, Ooh, this is before, I get, before I get ready. Stretch. Wait, okay. so Stretch. let okay. me double check. Okay. To win the game, you have to be the first one to get rid of all the targets. The first one to hit 15 targets. You see the lights oh, in the middle. You see the, one of the, the, the lights on the left are all lit up or nearly all lit up. All of those will mm -hmm. light up. All 15 of them will light up. Every time you hit a target, one of those lights will go out. Oh. As soon as all of your lights go out, the person on the other side will fall through a little trap door that's here and and drop down and, and you'll see something i want to get your reaction to it what you see okay. oh, also also make sure your note blocks are turned on and on full all right okay. hang on let me just do that so that uh, needs to be also, wild make sure you're standing i think if if it drops down wild make sure you're standing no it's it, block, both 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 both, uh, both blocks with i've okay. thought of that one so yeah. both blocks move so as long as you're stood next to the the gate then uh then yeah. whoever loses will fall Not down. Sure. Well, I'm warning you, I probably will lose this game, so you might want to have your camera on Do me. Do you know what, Wild? I've already <laughs> sussed that one out. <laughs> camera position one is on Wild. Oh, hang oh on. all right. <laughs> this all right, is so when, exciting. when you're both ready, you press your player ready buttons and then stand behind the fence gates. Are you ready, JJ? Press my button. I press my button. I press my button. Okay. Okay, I'm so ready. Okay. Get you ready? ready? Oh, get in intense mode. Okay, game on. Oh, this target blocks. Oh no, I'm really oh. bad at shooting. <laughs> oh no. Oh, JJ's terrible. in the lead already. <laughs> Boom. Oh no, I'm shooting too high. Wild, you've got to hit the no. target blocks. Obviously, <laughs> it doesn't work unless you hit the target blocks. No. Get one that time. No. No, sometimes, sometimes no. you'll get one. Sometimes you won't get any. Sometimes all five will turn up. Yeah, yeah. I think I hit one. You did. It's, it's close, but the bear is still yeah. in the lead. This is oh, amazing! Huh, huh. Come on, open up, little blocks! Yeah! Go wild! Pew! Go wild. JJ, you're nearly there. Yeah. Wild, oh, you've got to catch up. Oh, wild, oh, no. aim, oh, aim no. higher. Pew! <laughs> oh my gosh. This goodness. is so intensive! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. A oh, one block target. Pew! Oh! Oh my gosh, JJ! Oh no! Did I get it? Come on, Wild! Come I on, missed Wild! It. Ah! No, um, did I get it? I got it! <laughs> Yay! Oh my, God. Oh my gosh! That is evil! Oh my gosh! I love remote block noises. <laughs> oh. How did you get on right now? There <laughs> should be a way out, Wild, oh. while you're down there. That was so stressful! That was amazing! That was so fun! <laughs> that was so much fun! Oh, that's JJ, brilliant. I really so had fun. you there. I nearly had you there. Yeah, in, in fairness, you, you both started a little bit slower because you were aiming a little bit too high. But when she got into it, that was really close. Let me yeah. go and sleep. Let me go and sleep. Oh, no, we've got a pillager raid, guys. Do you want to take on a pillager raid? A charge! Ooh. Okay, I have this bow. Oh, I'm not sure I can use it very well. Uh, pew! Wow. Pew! Eat arrows, pillagers. Come on! I have a better idea. Don't shoot me. Whoa! They're all gone! Awesome! GG, JJ, GG oh, Wild. Great. That's pretty some awesome redstone. Oh, that was such a fun game! That was so JJ, fun. I think we should play it again so you can fall down no. the hole and see what's, what's down the hole. You need to I fall down and see it, JJ, because I, then, then I need to jump down yeah. and show everybody because nobody's seen it yet. I wanted to get your reaction. Oh my God. Are you ready, on GG? The, on camera. I'm ready. Okay, I'm going to win this time. Go Super Wild! <laughs> what if I win again? Then, then we just... have a problem. <laughs> you might, I might have to Pew! run over and, and oh, nick no. your bow. Pew! Come on, wild! Come on, wild! Why am I so bad at oh, shooting? My word. I should be great at shooting. Go on, I shoot you, you, day you all shoot the time. <laughs> I'm for that sheep over there. Ooh, that sheep Pew! is me. <laughs> oh, no, there's a You're sheep behind. You're a sheep, me. bro. <laughs> I'm missing it terribly. Yes. Go I up. caught up You're to JJ! Too high, Wild. Aim a little bit lower. Oh, that was bad. 
Whoa! <laughs> you can only shoot when the target blocks stay wild. <laughs> I know! <laughs> I know! I shot too late! Yes! Pew! I got one! Oh, this is tense! Intense. Oh my goodness. Yes. Oh, I shot way too low there. Oh no. Yes. Oh, come on. Oh, just too late. Come on, world. Come on, world. Oh, that you, didn't, you didn't get one. You didn't maximum. get one that time. Yeah. Oh, no, you oh, no, missed it. it. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I, miss that. I got oh, it. I missed it too, JJ. We're nearly there. Yeah. Wild, wild wins. That oh, never happens. Yes. Oh, that's awesome! <laughs> 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 that's amazing! Ew. That's Hi, awesome! Hi, JJ! <laughs> hey, wow. That's awesome, Frill! Thank that you! That is awesome! Thank yeah, you! Man. No, that's brilliant! Oh, Thank that's you! I'm gonna jump down now and show everybody, but uh, I just wanted your reaction to it. Hopefully, the, the, those the burning arrows won't set fire fabulous. to the wooden building we've got over there, JJ. That'd be oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if that was a thing in Minecraft! Oh, my goodness! That would be brilliant. Look at all your burning arrows. That was amazing. Thank you, Frill, for inviting us. No, no, thank you for turning up, you two. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. <laughs> really do. And thank I'm you. going to pretend you didn't have to go and shoot some sheep <laughs> to let me win. <laughs> <laughs> that was a great game. Should we put our bow and arrow back in the chest? Oh, yes, please. Yes. And tell everybody there about the new, new attraction in the fun zone that's filling up Indeed a little bit now. Indeed, we will. Oh, oh, I got a sheep head. Wow, I think we should also try a hot shot. Ooh, yeah. Let's go. Let's go. We should also do that. Fun. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Thanks, Frill. See you, Frill. See you, Frill. You've just got to love those two, haven't you? They're fantastic. Okay, let's. So uh, I'll show you now what they were. What they were so excited about, actually, at the end. Uh, and it's what I'm really excited about. So if we whip down here, I'm going to get rid of this, so this won't be here. This is where the the note blocks are that plays the little tune it's the little boot hill tune anybody old enough to remember the game um we'll play it again play it again frills <laughs> it's brilliant i love it so that's that and then when you lose you fall through the trap doors i'm gonna have to break a block here to do this but i'll be able to put it back again so when you lose you fall down here Bump, take a little bit of damage, and that's what you see. Is that cool or what? So designed by Bunny, so thank you for that, Bunny. And to get out, you go through the way out. And you jump up there. It's brilliant. So I've got one last thing to do then before we finish the episode. I need to pop over to Steena, one of Steena's houses. I think I'll use the one at Alpha by Water, because I've got a little present for her. Eagle has asked me to drop off a case of... Uh, something for her which is behind my head actually it's just there so i'll pop over to steena's house at alpha by water leave that and then we'll uh, we'll call this episode done so here we are back at alpha by water this place is starting to look amazing some of these guys are just phenomenal builders on here letha's building over there Hades, oh they're brilliant pigs i think that's pigs there's mine that is steena's hopefully this is steena's if it's not, Steena, sorry, I'm going to put your I'm going to put your gift in somebody else's house. So this is a, a little gift from Eagle, uh, one of my patrons. He's asked me to deliver you a case of cherry coke. Uh, so there it is. So enjoy. So I think we'll call it a day for today then, everybody. Thank you very, very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And thank you, JJ and Wild, for being my little test subjects for Boot Hill. If you've enjoyed the episode, please don't forget to leave it a like. And if you've really loved it, don't forget to subscribe for future videos. And don't forget to check out all the other alphas because they are all fantastic. This is Frilly Off and I'm out of here.